Watch how easy it is for Jedi Master Captain Antilles to put down four Sith Lords. Analyze situation. Focus front trooper, place shot to right kidney. Dispatch back right trooper with bullet to aorta. Engage left trooper, right hook to fracture jaw. Discombobulate. Physical recovery, six months. Just like the simulation. If there's one thing that Star Wars is known for, it's the lightsabers. Jedi and Sith use these weapons to wage epic duels, and it takes years of training to become a master of combat. The Jedi have managed to defeat the Sith every time, but only because the Sith have a rule of two, where there can only be two Sith Lords at any given time, a master and an apprentice. So what if every enemy in Star Wars was a Sith? Would the Jedi still be able to protect the galaxy from edgelords like these? We have no confirmation, but we believe FN 2187 may have helped in the escape. Thanks to modern technology and LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga, we can actually answer this question. Can you beat LEGO Star Wars if every enemy has a lightsaber? When I say every enemy, I don't just mean the men, but the women, and, and the, the children, children too. too. I modded every enemy to have a lightsaber and gave them a backstory to explain their new weapon acquisition. The stormtroopers and all their variants were trained by Nicolas Cage under command of the Emperor. And although they never learned how to deflect blaster bolts, their strength lies in their insane speed given to them through potions of swiftness. Today we're gonna make a swiftness potion. Now you can drink this potion and run very fast and people will be very jealous when you come running. The Imperial officers were trained in the Jedi arts by Count Dooku but using the force experimentally caused their body to mutate into a jumble of random Lego pieces. They are still very difficult opponents, utilizing force lightning and Count Dooku's combat style. The Tusken Raiders, Gamorrean Guards, and Skiff Guards were all trained by the most powerful Sith Lord, Jar Jar Binks. Boba Fett was secretly trained under Mace Windu because he felt bad for killing his dad. As you're requested, I met a human. And the Imperial Guards were trained by the Emperor himself. By the way, this video will only contain the levels from the original trilogy, so sorry to any prequel fans out there, that video will be later on. Also, I won't be playing through any of the levels with ships in it because, well, X-Wings can't really hold lightsabers. The first level's secret plans has you playing as Leia and none other than Jedi Master Captain Antilles, whose lightsaber skills are matched only by Jar Jar Binks. The Sith troopers blew the door and ran in, but Captain Antilles was able to defeat them all with hand-to-hand -hand combat. When I got to the part where you need to lift C-3PO over a ledge, I realized I accidentally modded C-3PO's files to have the IQ of a rock. So I had to go back into the files and change him back into a protocol droid. At the end of the level, Captain Antilles even killed two Sith chilling in a hot tub five feet apart. His power is unlimited. The next level had young morgs, and was all about his hatred for the coarse rough sand and sand people. Why don't you like sand? It's coarse, rough and irritating. But Vader, can you hear me? Sand. He had to trudge through the hot sand with Obi-Wan Kenobi fighting off Tusken Sith, so when he found a sand crawler filled with defenseless Jawas, he unleashed his fury. <laughs> Women. Children. When Morgs got to Moss Eisley spaceport to hire a ship, he was ambushed by a bunch of sand troopers and there was a battle that would go down in the Jedi archives as the Great Tatooine Skirmish. Then it was on to the Death Star to save Princess Leia. Accidentally playing as Chewbacca later on helped me discover the stormtroopers' hidden weakness. Degenerates like you belong on a cross. In The Empire Strikes Back, the first two levels were much the same. The snowtroopers on Hoth barely put up a fight against Han Solo's discombobulation skills. PK, PK fire! And Dagobah just had tiny Lego bats. Cloud City was actually interesting though. I was playing as Steve Harvey when I got to this little boss fight with Sith Lord Boba Fett. After barely surviving his wrath, he ran away and tried to open a door that he usually just opens easily, 
but this time he just stood there like his wife just told him she was taking the kids. Basically what happened here is that what actually allows special characters to open special doors is if they have a special line of text in their file such as bounty hunter or droid. When I was modding Boba Fett's file to make him into a force user, I deleted the bounty hunter string and inserted Jedi instead. Because of this, he couldn't open the door and I couldn't progress further in the level. Well, at least not with Steve Harvey. My solution was to play the level in free play as a bounty hunter to open the door myself, and it actually worked. The random character select also gifted me with the Imperial Officer and Stormtrooper, so I took advantage of their lightning and inhuman agility. As much as I would like to talk about the Return of the Jedi levels, they were just too easy to beat to be interesting. The skiff guards were so scared to fight morgues that they threw themselves off of Jabba's sail barge. The speeder chase level was basically a montage of every crash scene in Star Wars ever. And I played through Jedi Destiny co-op with my wife, making it a lot harder than it had to be. Am I going to be able to get through this? I, I don't know. That's indestructible. To be honest, I was kind of sad. Giving everyone a lightsaber was not as challenging as I hoped it would be. I decided to make up for this by making Boba Fett the most powerful Jedi that ever lived. 200 hearts, acceleration increased by 1000% and 10 times the run speed. He was also scaled down to half the size so he was harder to hit. The end result was uh, well just watch, just watch this. I ended up making him look like a cute little Pokemon you could catch, so I decided to make him better by replacing his hurt sound for the Jawas. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. I tried to show the most entertaining parts of the challenge. Uh, the problem was that it was actually really easy to do, so it was difficult to find any content. Um, if you enjoyed the content though, and would like to see more challenges in LEGO Star Wars and other games, make sure to subscribe and like the video. Until then, I'm just gonna say...